The Jackson County Board of Commissioners has formed a marijuana advisory committee that brings together people with a variety of views about the growing marijuana industry. Uh, so we're looking for common sense suggestions from the entire committee about what we might do with our codes, how we might react to a very, very uh, transitional time in an emerging industry that's been made legal in this state. We have a lot of issues with compliance. In fact, I think there's about 960 open code enforcement cases and a good majority of those are marijuana. Marijuana business owners Obi Strickler and Cheryl Johnson will represent marijuana interests on the committee. It includes two members of the marijuana industry and we found two members that have a very, very concerted um, feeling about or concern about the county as a whole, our land, and getting along with neighbors. And I think there, we've had a number of excellent applicants. I think these were, were probably the top two that we saw. Um, both of them are very well versed in the industry. One of them is very knowledgeable about OLCC and their regulations. The committee also includes Susan Rasher representing rural property owners, as well as Jerry May from the traditional agriculture sector and Frank Grant and Thomas Giles, who are the citizens at large. County officials will also sit on the advisory committee. We'll start down the path of suggestions and things that might make sense with respect to our codes and or any other concerns that we would want to pass on to state legislators. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to having citizen involvement from all facets, whether it's private citizens, uh, agricultural people who are not involved in the marijuana business, people who are involved in either recreational or medical marijuana. So it was put together with great care, hoping to get balanced opinions. There were many other applicants, and we want to thank all of them for having applied.